Now we are at Chocolate Man's production. Let's see what they have for us in store. Yes. Sir. We have already got in the Chocolate Man production. I can see a lot of attractive things here. We have Savio with us. Let's see what he has to show for us. Hi Savio, Hi. welcome to our show on Easter. Thank you very much. So what is special this Easter? So it's a it, angel food cake is called uh, an angel food cake because uh, it actually is a white, very light and it actually looks white. Okay. It's very light and it's made with only egg whites and uh, so it, there's no egg yolks, there's no cholesterol, no okay. fats and it's a healthy option. Okay. So, so something healthy this is to, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's start. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For the base of the angel food cake, which is like uh, the baked cake, which on top, uh, which we will do a decoration on it further. Uh, we need uh, we need flour, so that's flour. And we need corn flour. We need cream of tartar, which is a raising agent which holds the egg whites together. Uh, we need uh, sugar powder and the main ingredient which is egg whites and sugar so uh, the first thing uh, how we when we start an angel food cake you make sure uh, you have a small bowl so you, you, these are three egg whites okay. which i put in the bowl 225 grams of sugar which is uh, already weighed out okay. in this sugar you can use sugar or you can use sugar powder as well a little bit of grain sugar should be added to the egg whites because of the you know it, it holds the the egg whites makes it whip up to to the consistency you want. So you, you have a, so this is now you, you've got a small peak consistency like you know you've got yeah. the egg whites which you you see is much more firm and it it forms a peak once you lift the whisk from the egg whites. Now flour, which is 65 grams of flour, 15 grams of corn flour. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and a little bit of tartar, uh, tart, cream of tartar, which is the, the, the agent which will hold the, hold the egg white together. Okay. So we put in the cream of tartar, in the, just when the cream is almost with. And you still whip it up a little bit more so that okay. it holds the, the aeration in the cream, in the egg white. So you mix in the flour, the corn flour. So we'll add in some little bit of tutti frutti which is easily available in the okay. market also. So you don't put it all, to, all at once because if you put it all at once, mm. the, the egg white is going to sit. So you, so you dust it in a little at a time, so that all the egg whites, it still is creamy, it's yes. not like, you know, you should not allow it to sort of uh, lose the aeration. Uh -huh. So next step is the baking step, okay. then we use this mold which mm. is uh, it just got a, like a small tube in the middle mm. it it gives it uh, so we put all the we put the put the batter around this mold okay how long do you need to bake it uh, you need to bake it at around at, at 200 for around 30 to 30 for 40 minutes okay uh, still we've got to check because Every oven is a different oven. Yes. We we will you'll have to still check uh, the the baking of the of the angel cake by okay. probably putting in a, a, a toothpick or something into the into the okay. into the cake to make sure that it's baked. Okay. So what will happen is the toothpick will just go directly into the cake and it will come out dry. Okay. Otherwise, if it's not baked, it will still be more wet and moisty and sticky. Mm -hmm. sort of thing. So now this is ready to bake. I'm so going to base the air zallo, sir. So one, 200 or 170? Between 175 and 200. 175 to 200 degrees. It's like a bake, sir. So we are on next. Yeah. So now we've, we've got the base ready uh, of the angel cake. Now we, are look, now we need to decorate it. Uh, Usually people like to see, you know, nice things and, you know, like to eat nice things. I mean, which looks nice as well. 
So we've got, uh, you can decorate it with a number of things. Okay. Like uh, traditionally it was decorated with, um, you know, again egg white. Okay. Egg white which, which is uh, whipped and yeah. then you boil the sugar and then you pour it into the egg white and you call it Italian meringue. Italian? Meringue. Yeah. So this again was a, sort of a healthy option compared to uh, the sort of option which I am using. Okay. The thing what I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm using a white chocolate uh, white chocolate ganache, wow. which is uh, this is a white chocolate ganache, which is white chocolate and cream uh, mixed together. So this is a little bit innovative, but also it sort of uh, goes along with the chocolate theme and you know the chocolate yeah. man's production. I really can't have anything without chocolate. <laughs> without chocolate, actually. Okay, that uh, cream which you have used is fresh cream, right? It is fresh cream, yeah. 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 So. You boil the chocolate, to, uh, I mean you boil the cream, okay. uh, once the cream is boiled, say 200 grams of cream and 500 grams of uh, white chocolate, mm -hmm. you mix the cream into the white chocolate and mix it together till you form this, till you get this consistency like you know, without any lumps or anything inside. So it should be as smooth as icing which we usually put for other cakes, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is the icing sort of, or the frosting okay. which we are going to use. Okay. Then we also have uh, apricots which we have chopped and which we have used inside the cake as well. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of tutti frutti, uh, we've got pistachio chopped and another thing is uh, we've got uh, white chocolate which is grated, a grated oh. white chocolate which uh, also so, sort of resembles like you know some uh, noodles or some you know uh, dusting uh, sort more of, of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks more of cheese. So we'll, uh, so first we'll use the white chocolate, uh, truf uh, we call it a truffle, okay. a white chocolate truffle and uh, we just paste it on the cake a little bit and then we you use a palette knife mm -hmm. to sort of uh, spread it. Now since we have uh, this mold, the mold which we used is a little bit of an uneven mold. Okay. Uh, you'll find that you know we've got a little bit up and down mm -hmm. in the cake a sort of very a little bit of a rough uh, sort of uh, coat on the cake and make sure you go right till the bottom because you know decorating half of the top yes, it really doesn't it has taken the shape of a donut yeah it looks like a donut <laughs> So now uh, we've got a very rough sort of effect on mm -hmm. the cake. Now uh, what I'm looking out for is a little bit of a wavy sort of peaky texture mm -hmm. of this cake. Now to create that effect what I've used, uh, what I will do is I will use the same cream mm -hmm. in a, and you see this how it forms peaks, yes. the, mm -hmm. this, this forms peaks. Yes. So we'll create, I, I would like to create the same effect on the cake which will like you know sort of give it like you know a forest sort of uh, okay. look. So to do that you add in a bit more of this and then spread it a little bit thicker on the, on the, on the places where you want the effect. And then you go this way. So now once you've got this effect of the peaks and stuff like that, so then what you, get, what you do next is with the white chocolate which we have grated through a grater, we will uh, dust it on the, on the cake. So the white chocolate, we dust it on the, on the cake level. It sort of gives it a, a more rough. So is this your invention? Uh, this or is a little bit of a modification. Okay. Uh, usually, what you can use also use, mm -hmm. or which they traditionally use is desiccated coconut, oh. which is dried up coconut, uh -huh. uh, which is also freely available mm -hmm. in Goa. We have a lot of coconut, but then you've got to dry it up, and uh, it's sort of again, it's a healthier option yeah. compared to the chocolate which I'm using. Mm -hmm. Although it's not so much of calories which you would have had if you ma made a cake with butter and you know, yeah, egg yolks true, true. and stuff like that as well. Again, it gives it a little bit of a color. Color. And richness also. Yes, okay. absolutely. 
and then some tutti frutti also which you can which you have used inside the cake. Yes. Uh, here's some of it in the outside. So the time has come to decorate this cake and get the cake in the Easter mood. So let's see what Savio has. Okay, Savio can proceed. We've got these chocolate Easter eggs, okay. which we've made with the different uh, chocolate colorings. Mm -hmm. uh, usually chocolate, you get it in different uh, color, uh, different uh, only in white, milk and dark. Yes. So we've used some uh, raspberry color okay. in a chocolate coloring. Okay. which we put into mix it into white chocolate we've yeah. got some uh, pinkish eggs we got blue ones we got purple and we also have uh, smaller full chocolate easter eggs like you know just small ones like this and we got these small easter bunnies which wow, we have that's uh, cute which we have uh, made nice with chocolate one. again and then you can have your whole family you know sort of Pick up one egg and yeah, uh, it's on, true, on, the, true. on the Easter, like on your full uh, meal table, have this in the center and then somebody pick it up. Uh, yes, like, each egg, egg for each family member. Yeah, you can see. absolutely. And everyone's happy. And also, then after that, you got to eat the cake. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Angel food cake, ready, Zalwa. Tatur bunnies, then Easter eggs, grated uh, chocolates, what? white chocolate. Ingredient, uh, fruits are uh, yummy, right? Nice. So, thank you so much for coming on our show. It's a lovely Easter cake, very innovative. I though have not seen it earlier. Anyway, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Small gift hamper from uh, the Chocolate Man. Wishing you all a happy Easter for in Prudent Media. Thank you, you so much, Savio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So this was a special feature on Easter. Easter eggs, Easter cake and now this Easter hamper. So here we are wishing Happy Easter. Easter.